All right, guys. Back again. I had an impromptu issue where I accidentally stopped filming yesterday, and I was also tired. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to call it quits. So, where were we at? Oh, yeah, we had to come up with a new mission. Covert action, I should say. And gathering supplies is usually a good bet. This is not bad, actually. I better go with the supplies. Okay. Who do we got? Standing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. God. So they're getting better, the aliens are, or the advent. Oh man, I don't like that at all. I know we can't do it because we don't have any people, although it'd be man it'd be great to get an engineer. Where are we at on our that's our end field here? Thirteen to fifteen now. Five to eleven days. Let's just see what we got. No, we got two two guys. Two people? This is not that. The recruits. Wait, did, has the black market items changed? And, oh yeah, we've got supplies. So usually when course. new supplies come, that's kind of like a new period of time which restarts. So it's possible yeah so they are now they want sectoid corpses but we only have the one which we really need to do the autopsy on it first and then maybe we can sell it yeah they got new people okay so we need to go get our supplies new course This was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory, Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even 
even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Hmm. Well, what choice do we have? Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. Apparently my predecessor was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects. From what I've heard, she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible. Why we're not 100% infiltrated? It says concealed start requires 90 100% infiltration or 99% infiltrated. Let's look into that. But 